Welcome everybody to the Let's Build a Network series. In this video, and this is the single last video in our Let's Build a Network series, we're going to make the network a little bit more dynamic for the users in order to get connectivity. So let's quickly recap. These are all the steps we took and we are now at Configure DHCP Help Address. Why would we configure a DHCP Help Address? Well, this is our network and we want to add a DHCP server in one piece of the network. In our piece, it will be the services VLAN, it can be an infrastructure VLAN or a data center, but that's where we want to add a DHCP server. And we don't want to give, may have a lot of different network con connections to each of every VLAN because DHCP is layer two connectivity and not layer three. So what we want is that our core switch is going to forward we're going to relay the packets to our DHCP server and on the DHCP server we're going to create multiple scopes so that the DHCP server will recognize the relay agent IP address and will provide an IP address for that correct subnet. So this will make the network dynamic where users can either get connectivity by just plugging in cables and automatically get a DHCP address instead of they need to have a fixed IP address on every single device. Another thing that's easy is also you know which devices will be connecting on your network um, because you got an overview of all the devices from your DHCP server. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to add on the 3810, we're going to connect the DHCP server, and we already did, in port 1, and that's untagged uh, part of the uh, services VLAN ID. The DHCP server will get an IP address of 192.168.1110.200. And as you can see on the DHCP server, we're going to create three different DHCP ranges. All DHCP ranges will have 10 addresses from dot 50 to dot 60. Of course, for your infrastructure, you can change that to 200 address, etc. What you want, what, you, what is required for your environment. So we will have an uh, an IP range for VLAN 200, which is the student VLAN in the 192.168.200 range, and we will provide IP address from dot .50 to dot .60. We will do the same for the teacher VLAN, and we will do the same for the finance VLAN. So, that being said, as you can see, here we have our DHCP server. The DHCP server I'm going to use is a great open source project called Open DHCP Server, and on that uh, on that DHCP server, I'm able to set up multiple ranges. Here is the configuration file I'm using. I'm going to listen to 192.168.1110.200 as an interface. By default, it will listen to all static IP addresses that is configured on your server. But this is where I'm going to listen. Of course, in, in a production environment, you can also use a Unix or a Linux or Unix or a Microsoft DHCP server. But this is the project I'm using for this demonstration. Uh, I'm also going to uh, have an e HTTP interface on a particular port on that, uh, on the same IP address. Main reason is that it gives me a graphical overview of which I, which uh, IP address have been provided. I have a certain level of, uh, uh, I have a log level of debugging, but you will probably put that to normal. Uh, and then we have multiple ranges. You can see the student range, teacher range, and the um, finance VLAN range, so subnet. So, on the switch, I need to do some configuration. So, DHCP layer is by default on. So, let me show this to you. Is DHCP relay is by default on. So, you don't need to do anything if you, if you didn't disable that for a very specific reason. So, if you didn't do anything, it will be on. The only thing we need to do is we need to point to every VLAN where the uh, DHCP packet should be relayed to. So, and that is that you do that with the IP helper address. So, let's go into the VLAN 200. Let's configure the IP helper address 192.168.1110.200. Yeah, we're going to do that in every VLAN where we want to point to that particular DHP server. Let's save this. Let's do a show run. And as you can see, the IP help addresses are configured in, in all these VLANs where we want to provide IP address from that particular DHP server. So let me show you 
uh, IP helper addresses and you can see that's where they are now we need to start our DHCP server here we go the DHCP server started with the configuration files we saw earlier let's see if we can connect you see there is three different ranges there is no static leases and there is at the moment no active leases so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get another laptop and on that laptop I'm going to log in and let me get back to this to this picture because here we get a good overview and I can point to you where we connect so let's connect let me get the network cable and we're going to connect this laptop into different subnets so let's connect it to the 3500 port 25 so that means that's in the student VLAN let me have a look here there we go I'm connecting the switch you can see from the relay agent uh, 200.1 that's correct that's the student VLAN I'm getting an IP address let's see hey I have an IP address here so now let me release this IP address okay IP address is released and I'm going to connect it to for example the 2920 in port 2 for example in the teacher VLAN there we do it is connected let's give it a couple of seconds It will start up. There we go. From 210 to 10 is teacher VLAN. And I got this address. Let me refresh here. 210.50. So now I got an IP address in the teacher VLAN. So let's try another one from the finance VLAN. That will be port 17. Let me release this quickly okay this is nicely released now let's do it in port 17. it is now connected very good 220 and i have an ip address in 220.50 you can see how easy it is and how the network will be dynamic now for connecting users and you can place the DHCP server on a single place in your network with multiple scopes for subnet. So the only the last step we are going to do in another video that's configuring link aggregation for performance and potentially redundancy and then this video series will be closed. Thank you very much. I hope you like this channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit a thumbs up. Leave comments to this particular video if you have any questions or you like it. And hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.